Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy King Superior aka The Delay God and I'm back with another video. Now today man, as promised, I'm going to show you guys my tattoo. I'm going to show you the tattoo tutorial to get my tattoos on NBA 2K20. Now before we get into the actual tutorial, let me show you guys once again what my tattoos look like. This is what it looks like. And uh, without further ado man, let's jump right into the tattoo tutorial. So I'm borrowing my friend's account for this video once again. So... And he doesn't have enough VC to purchase this, but I'm just going to apply the tattoo just to show you guys how to do it. So go ahead and put some stars in your in your cart. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to go for the tribal band 3. And you're going to add, just max it out. Put as much as uh, tribal bands you can put in here. Remember, you're not going to be paying for this. You know what I'm saying? You're only paying for what you use. So you don't have to worry about that. 2K just dropped the hot fix. <laughs> Imagine. Alright, good. So... I'm gonna go to the back and then the first thing we're gonna do once we go to the back is we're just gonna fully black out the entire body because that's the first thing you gotta do all right so it's gonna black out the entire body first and then we're gonna move on from there all right so we blacked out the body already uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the leg afterwards let's just start working on the body first okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're, you're gonna want to start with the, the stripe on the shoulders as you can see I adjusted the first tattoo tutorial I showed you guys, I adjusted my tattoos a little bit because I applied some to the front and I wanted them to connect, okay? So I adjusted it. So for this, you want to put the first tattoo on your shoulder, okay? Now, the reason why you want to connect it, you want to put it on your shoulder is because I have this tattoo connecting to the tattoos on my front and my back. It's like one thing. It's like it's connected all together. So we're going to start with the shoulder tattoo first. You're going to want to max it all the way out. Then you want to rotate it like this a little bit and then you're going to apply it. We're going to do on both sh shoulders first before we even go down the arm because the first thing we want to do is get the tattoos to connect. The first set of tattoos on the upper body to connect. So we're going to put it on both shoulders first before we do anything else. That's the first thing you're going to want to do. Let's rotate it to make sure it's even. I'm going to rotate this a little bit right here. Make sure the tattoos are scaled all the way out. You're going to put it right there. Now we're going to get another tribal band and we're going to start with the chest we're going to put it on the chest right here okay so with this you're going to um going to shrink it down a little bit shrink it down a little bit actually you can max it out here now okay not too much oh we could go really big yeah all right good good i was just testing to see all right good so you want it to be just just the same size as this basically Scale it down a little bit more. Let's see. A little bit. Right, I'm going to scale down the one on my shoulders a little bit too. Because it's going to have to uh, scale down to match the size of the um, of the other tattoos. Okay, so we're going to put this here for now. We're going to go back on the first two tattoos. Where is it? And we're going to scale it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Scale it down a bit. Same other arm, other shoulder, which is this one right here. I'm gonna scale that down a little bit too. There we go. I really hate like moving the tattoos around simply because you can barely touch your stick and the tattoos move a lot. Okay, all right, we're gonna place this for now. We're gonna adjust it. We're only placing it there for now. We are going to adjust that tattoo, but we just want to get the other one on my chest so we could work with it together. Okay. So we're gonna scale this down. We're gonna adjust this and then we're gonna move the tattoos on our shoulders. The tattoos on our shoulders needs to move. That's really, that's really the problem right now, okay? So it's a lot of rotating, guys. It is a lot of rotating, okay? So now we're gonna adjust the other tattoo on our chest. This is the hardest part. Once you get these first tattoos down, you're good to go. Because these you have to get these in line. Once you get these in line, you will be good to go after that. Once you get that down, you'll be straight, okay? So you're gonna put this right here. There we go. Perfect. It's coming out perfect. Now, good. Now that the chest is straight, what we're going to now do again now is we're going to move the ones on our shoulders because we need it to attach. We need to make it be seamless. Just run straight into the back, all right? So, we're going to go back to the shoulders. We're trying to see that. I got to see that side. You can scale it back out a little bit now. And we're going to put it right here. You want it to. This is what I'm talking about. I'm barely touching the stick and the tattoo is just flying all over the place. That's the one thing I hate. That's the real that's the annoying part about trying to get it precisely because you're barely touching your sticks and then the tattoos are just moving so fast, bro. It's really annoying. That's the part I hate. Alright, so what we're gonna do right now actually is we're gonna just place it for now because once again we need this to run 
we need this to run into the back perfectly so we're going to start with the back tattoo just so we can see what exactly we're doing here at the back so we can know exactly how to adjust the ones on the shoulder so we're going to go to the back let's get another stripe so what you're going to do is you're going to bring this up here right about there right about there all right and we need this we need the shoulder to run directly into this we need it to run directly into the chest tattoo and directly into the one on the back okay so we're gonna put this here for now and once again we might adjust this as we go along simply we just need to know what we're working with all right so we're back on the shoulder once again now we're gonna adjust this shoulder to run straight into the chest and the back all right so you're gonna be looking at both as you go you're gonna be looking at your shoulders I mean your chest and your back to make sure it's running into both of them all right all right let's rotate it to the back and see how the back looks and the back is good perfect all right good so now we're done with that it's time to move on it's time to finish the uh chest um you could do the arms or the chest whichever one you want to do but we are going to continue with the let us continue with the chest first all right so we're gonna go get some more tribal band we're gonna finish up with the chest first and then we're gonna move on to the arms and then we're gonna finish with the back okay so there is in total six stripes on my chest three on each side three on the left three on the right so we're immediately gonna do that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these stripes end right at the side of my body we don't want this to go around to the back so we're gonna add this right here so let's finish it off with the last two stripes and we're gonna be good to go after that. Don't worry about it, bro. We got you. All right, good. So, I'm gonna place this right here. All right. This is why we got this shit lined up really fast. Now, we're gonna go back to the last one and we're gonna bring it a little bit over to the left. One, two, three. We're gonna side over a little bit to the left, a little bit to the left. Right, there we go. There we go. Perfect, man. Perfect, man. Perfect. Let me bring it down just a little bit. There we go. All right now on to the back once again okay we're gonna get another stripe what we're gonna do is we're gonna come and we're gonna run this straight down the middle actually no let's not do go down the middle yet let us place this let's do the bottom first let's do the bottom of the back first we're gonna place this right about here rotate it even it up rotate 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 and we are gonna place this oh my gosh can you stop moving for now we're gonna place this right right here we're gonna adjust we're gonna do any adjustments afterwards just place that down right here we're gonna get another stripe and we are gonna place this in the middle straight down the middle of our back all right and go as far up as possible i guess we're gonna place that right there now we're gonna come back to the front and we're gonna make these tattoos run straight into the back okay the last two stripes which is gonna be one, which is gonna be these two, right? Let me see, yes, it's gonna be these two, good. So we're gonna rotate back to the front again, and we are gonna adjust these to make them run straight into the back. So we're gonna scale it down. I might scale down the size of the one, yeah, I'm gonna have to scale down the size of the one in the back. I don't want it to run all the way into the front, so we're gonna go back to the back again, and we're gonna scale that down a little bit. We're gonna rotate this, this looks a little bit off. There we go, rotate that right there. And we're gonna place this right here, bow. Onto the same one that we just adjusted before. You want to slide it back over to the right a little bit more. So it's going to be this one right here. There we go. I'm going to slide this back over here. And there we go. Now we're going to go back to the back once again because I don't want this one running all the way to the front. It should be. Which was the last one? It was this one right here. We're going to. You guys. One thing you guys are going to have to remember is what tats you place where to because there's a lot of adjustments you're going to have to be making. So you need to remember where you put at what spot. You know what I'm saying? Good. So we're going to scale this down. <clears throat> we're gonna rotate it. We're gonna scale it back up a little bit enough so you can touch. I'm gonna adjust this, put this up right here. Rotate this to make sure it's touching. Yes, it does. It runs straight into the back. This is what we're going for. Scale it down a little bit more again. Adjust. Let's rotate to the right side to see if it's touching. And it is. There we go. Bow. Good. <clears throat> Alright, now we're gonna go get the rest of the strikes and we're just gonna knock this out like it ain't nothing, okay? This is where stuff gets easy. Let's get right. So let's start applying these. Bow. We're gonna start with the left arm. So what we're gonna do here with the left is we're gonna scale this out. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to line up this sleeve with the second stripe on your 
left side of your body. It's gonna be right side if you're looking at it from the, from the TV, but it's the left side on your player. It's always in line with that stripe. You want it to be in line with that stripe, okay? You want it to be in line with that stripe. We're gonna rotate it to make sure it goes around. And it does, this is perfect right here. Absolutely perfect. All right, let's go get another stripe. And left, here we go. We're gonna scale this out once again. We're gonna try to inline it with this tattoo. The third one on the left side will be right if you're looking at it from your TV or monitor. And it doesn't have to be exactly in line. And remember, once your hand is up, it's gonna be, a, it's not gonna be as in line as you think it is because your arms are out. But once you put, once the player puts his arm down, it's gonna be good. So you want to put it right about there, man. Right about there. Let's rotate it to make sure it goes around, and it does. Hold on, it's not touching. So we're gonna rotate that a little bit so you can touch. You guys see what I'm talking about right there? See that? There we go. So I'm just gonna let you guys. And you have to make sure that, make sure that touches. Oh, I had it perfect, and I touch it again. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm talking about. I'm barely touching my sticks and it's just flying. Like I'm tap. There we go. Perfect, man. There we go. There we go. We're going to scale this out. We're going to add this right on the wrist. A little bit above the wrist, like a tip above the wrist, like right there. That is perfect. Does it touch? It does. We are good to go. We're going to re rotate it to the right to see how it looks. And we're going to put this up just a little bit more here. Rotate it. See how this looks. And it looks perfect. All right. Now. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to do the other arm because I don't want this video to be really long. Now onto the legs, if you guys want to do the legs as well, it's pretty much the same as the arm, man. You're just going to fill off the legs with the with the sleeves and you're just going to stripe it just like the arm. So I'm once again, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do that because it's going to be way too long. This video probably is long as it is already. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill the legs with the black stars and then you're going to stripe it the same way you did with the arms, okay? So... I'm just gonna place this right here. I'm not even gonna place it. I just wanna see what the tattoo looks like. Let me back out. Let me back out. Let me hit one of the stars. And I'm just gonna rotate the body so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, this, oh. You see one of the stripes on the arm right there? You see it doesn't touch? Like, look between it. You see, it doesn't touch. So you guys are gonna make sure that touches on your screen, okay? You see right there? Between, right between, like, my, yeah, you guys see it. Just make sure it touch and you'll be good to go. But there we go. This is what the tattoo looks like. So what it should look like. And uh, hopefully this tattoo tutorial did help you guys out. Unfortunately, my friend Unread cannot afford these. We're going to cash it in just to see what the price comes up to. Okay, let's see what it comes up to. It comes up to 41000 And um, this is not the entire thing. So on the other arm, we would have added one, two, three, four, four more strikes. That would have been 4000 more. So it would have been 45000 And then you would have did the legs. The legs approximately would have been about, let me see about six stars each so that's twelve thousand more added on and then um the leg takes about one two three four five about five stripes each so that would have been 10k for both legs so 10k plus 12k would have been 20 uh 22k 22k plus 41k that puts you up to that puts you up to 63k okay so in total it comes up to about sixty three thousand in total so there you have it if you want to get my tattoo tutorial it's approximately 64,000 um 63,000 uh vc approximately it could be a little bit more it could be a little bit less i didn't do the entire body so i cannot give you the exact number but that's what it should be somewhere around that all right so hopefully this, this tattoo tutorial did help you guys out you guys been asking me for it for a good minute now um if it did help y'all be sure to drop a like on this video comment subscribe if you're new Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and I'll holler at you guys later, man. Peace.